Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and not to say the least, um, good afternoon, and um, let's continue here. Uh, to, um, I got another chapter review for you guys in reaction. Only, of course, this one is Boruto Chapter 2. So, training begins. And, of course, if you remember from the surmise, just when they surmised the Boruto story at the end of Naruto's, the, 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 series, the, the series of Naruto, which was a very long time, into our heart's contempt, it had to come to an end eventually. It was only a matter of time. Um, you know, people um, were very optimistic about the Boruto you know, series. How was it going to play out? What they're going to base it off on? When our Boruto's, with Bor when Naruto's son, Boruto, who uh, he be somebody to aspire to become Hokage, or would it be just the opposite, like Sasuke be a rogue? Most of that isn't really being answered yet, believe it or not. You read the first chapter, most of that has been answered. The first chapter, like he said, Boruto mentions in the beginning, literally, seriously, from the start, like I said, in his exact words, like I said, this is a story of a guy or a boy who wants to become Hokage. This is the story of a boy who once, once, at some time or some point in his life, wanted to challenge his father. However, something differently played out in the future, if you read the first chapter, that could pretty much, you know, render the idea that Naruto possibly has passed away. And how would we know that? We don't know that yet, but it's a mere prediction. Question is, should this prediction come to fruition, then many things will conspire going into the future. Therefore, showing us that Boruto himself did actually become a rogue, but for what reasons? Because let's delve into this and let's find out what is the reason for it. Right there, right off the top of page two, I'm pretty sure. This is a 50 page chapter, of course. So do not expect this to be a fast paced manga because the Boruto mangas are not fast paced. They're only a monthly release, which means they're released at the beginning on a Monday of each month. So basically, the next chapter is not going to be due till July. So let's begin as like, and let's get started. The voice fluctuations today, man, is real. It is real, I'm telling you. Uh, but let's get into it. I could just shake my head and be like, it's real, but no, it seems to be so retarded. I could just save that from my buying account, you know? So, um, so Boruto, so basically at the top of page three, Boruto begs, let you be my, dis my disciple, so you say, yeah. So Sasuke looks at him and says, you want to be my disciple? Okay, can you pull off a Rasengan? He wants to see him pull off a Rasengan. So, um, there's something I'm going to shorten, by the way, as I'm reading this manga, so it won't become too long-winded and drag out, and, you know, in the high, in the, so there won't be much of a hiatus to it. So, Eira Sengan, you can't do it, then I won't let you become my disciple. Reasoning, through my point of view, for Sasuke telling him, you're not my student or my disciple because you don't know how to do my over Sengan, is because you respect Naruto. That's the technique Naruto would use, generally speaking, to put Sasuke in his place. So, say, you don't know that technique. Boy, you're no match for anybody out there in the world. And he's going to give him a little story, a little history lesson. So you can find out where this is exactly the Rasengan hair from. For most of us, we already know, Boruto does not as of yet. That's a piece of cake. I'm going to master it in one in no time. He's nothing like me at all. Guys like us, maybe we're the dinosaurs now. So you remember Naruto in the previous chapter 1 of Boruto, the series. He mentioned that between him and Sasuke, maybe they're the dinosaurs. Maybe the generation is getting old. And Sasuke refuses to believe that, knowing Sasuke he has the ability to refute anything that Naruto says. Naruto, we still don't know the results of our battle. Half wit. So basically Sasuke says half wit. Condescending name for Naruto. That's basically a condescending name for Naruto. What what are you still here? Regarding that scroll, I encountered two strange people in the place where I found it. What? So Naruto now becomes interested and captured in the simple fact that he was actually been um, captivated by Sasuke. The simple fact that this, this is a shrine or more of a castle-like place he went to get the scroll. That scroll, when he found it, he found two people. And most of you remember these two villains. These two villains, if you read the chapter, you already know they hear from a certain movie. Boruto Naruto the movie, of course. But the question is... How many of you know these videos to be exact? Let's see. So here we go, we enter action sequence. And right from the top you can see this character 
looks to be an, Otsuz an Otsuzuki character, judging from what it is wearing. You can see Sasuke's Renegon. Normally speaking, if I'm not mistaken, Sasuke, when he first released it, he had it in his left eye. So for me to see a Renegon in his right eye, or Shaw Renegon, I can only deduce that the follow I can only deduce the following. The simple fact that he possibly has two Renegons now in his eyes. But let's see if that actually verifies. Because I've been I mean, you know, you can wake into Renegons. It should be possible being that he's no Shia. But Shaw Renegons. I'm not so keen on it, but let's see. So right now we just see the shouting gun. We don't see anything different yet in his eyes. So that's at the bottom of page 7. All this is an action sequence, by the way. So you should make it a breeze. Page 8, more action sequences. You see Sasuke dodging techniques. He gets pushed back by the enemy, of course. So Kinshiki is the guy he's currently fighting, and his full name is Kinshiki Otsuzuki from the Otsuzuki family or the clan, which is the same clan the also powerful Seiya just six past hails from, believe it or not. Which I wouldn't understand why wouldn't you believe it, but yeah, that's the point. And the same thing with Toneni Otsuzuki, he hails from this family as well. So you see that his eyes is covered dark, his right eye, and. I'm just going to go ahead and guess he probably has two Sharmanicas at this point, which is why I try to keep it hidden. And there's a way of saying, we're going to hide this fast from you, but we're going to reveal it at the same time. So this is Sasuke explaining the details of the battle, you know, um, basically anywhere from page 7, page 10, and so forth. He's explaining the details of the battle to Naruto and how intense it was pretty much at that point. And he's pretty much telling him the details of the enemy he fought and what they seem like, their techniques, everything basically. So, uh, here we go again, more action sequences, dragging the novel to page 11, which is fine, you know, because he's explaining it to Naruto. Naruto could use explanations, you know. You see more action sequences, Kinshiki gets slammed towards uh, the statue. And now you have dialogue. He changed places with the statue. Huh. How careless of you, Kinshiki. And the guy who just mentioned Kinshiki's name is named Momoshiki Otsuzuki. So they're from the Otsuzuki clan, basically, at this point, now that I've already pretty much introduced you to these enemies. They are said to be stronger than Kaguya, which, believe it or not, I do see it, because Kaguya really was very enchanted, believe it or not. Oh, hey, Renegon, huh? So he says, oh, a Renegon, but wait, there's more at the bottom of page 13. Two Sharenegons. So Sasuke doesn't have one Sharenegon. Yes, two. And you ask me, what the heck is a Sharenegon? I never heard about it. I've read it in Naruto series my entire life. You mean a Renegon? I was like, no. Sharenegon. It's basically what the Naruto fan base came, uh, came up with. Because it's a mixture between, it's a cross between the Sharingan and the Renegon. So it only makes sense to call it a Renegon. And it's just Renegon. Because it's not just a Renegon. It has the Tomios that you will see in a normal Sharingan. Except six Tomios in both eyes. So with that said, does he has a new Susano, which he probably does. So Naruto is just speechless and pretty much that was a bigger deal than you made it out to be. Forget about the scroll. That part would normally be a what about what you report first, don't you think? Those two, more than likely, they are members of the Otsuzuki clan. Some same as Kaguya. You should move with that as an assumption in mind. This smells like trouble to me, that's for sure. So what does what does the guy at the end of chapter one have to do with what's going on with Kinshiki, Momoshiki, and Boruto now the last movie? Because right now, according to speculation, it's been speculated that he's another Atsuzuki member. Should this be the truth and nothing but the truth, it could be that they waited for Naruto and Sasuke to get the powers of Sage of the Six Path, beat Kaguya at the end of Naruto series, to then be more than capable of fighting them. Which is why it leads me to believe that Naruto isn't dead but possibly injured, if not a little time out of fighting this character. Because Naruto is a little bit buffed. He's been um he's been um his techniques have been kind of, you know, buffered, if anything. He's been he's like most he's weaker now than he was when he was a teenager basically. 
when he has all Goto Damas floating behind him. He doesn't have it anymore. He just has the tails and that's it. I'm like, okay, where's the rest of it? Where the little, you know, um, weapons he used and everything. He doesn't have it anymore for some reason. Goto Hamaru, of course. Oh, should you shut up already? What's got you so riled up all of a sudden? This early in the morning. That Rasengan you're always using. You gotta teach me that move. I want to master that jutsu ASAP, so let's get it training. So, Boruto wants to master the Rasengan. Uh, it could take a while, but with the tech, it could be possible that he might use the little tech that, he, that the guy at the shop introduced to him to pretty much cheat his way out of a situation. Saving it as your ace up your sleeve for, your, for the shooting exams, I see. So your goal is to surprise the seventh, huh? So, something like that. I see. Now you're finally acting like a shinobi. To think that I will be the one to teach this jutsu to his son. Oh, fourth, seventh. I shall dutifully take on and accomplish this sacred task. The fourth, when he meant fourth, seventh, seventh, Hokage Naruto, fourth, Naruto's father, Boruto's grandfather, Minato, of course. Namikaze, which is Naruto's dad. So, here we see Boto confused. Like, why the heck do I have a balloon? Come on, what happened to your enthusiasm earlier? Let's go, let's, let's go one more time. Observe how I do it and try to copy me. Or, copy me. Or. So, one thing you should know about um, Konohamu is that he says or at the end of his sentences for some reason. And that's actually explained in this chapter as to why he does that. I know, but it's not going well in the slightest core. You don't have to copy the, <laughs> the way I speak, core. No, I wasn't copying the way you speak. I was talking about this thing. This thing in my hand. This. Will you cut it out with the core core already? What core? And even and we even talking about. So, um, Boruto and Konoha were not confused. Because Boruto said core, and now they're all saying core, core, core. It's like, what are you talking about? What the heck is this core you're talking about? And now Boruto's acting stupid. So basically, you can see Boruto is actually good at using reverse psychology there. So here is the meaning why as to Konohamaru uses the word core. Of the ten ends, his sentence with core. To Konohamaru, of ten ends, his sentence of core, which sounds like the Japanese word for this. So in reality, core means this. Translated in English. So that's the reason why he ends it because he's trying to make it you gotta do it like this Because that's what he's actually saying you got to concentrate like this and Boruto goes like you mean this It's basically like improvising so it's hilarious in a sense Besides why am I practicing with a water balloon? There should be something more efficient than this Environmentally friendly you can't blame him. You know, this has to be something more efficient The fourth or in other words your grandfather took three years to develop this jutsu and from there, it took him approximately half a year to master it. The degree of difficulty of this jutsu is a... Is a... Did you really expect it to be so easy? They didn't finish that sentence, they just cut it off. He said, is a... Here, do your best, boy genius. And like now, so he was considered dumb and dense for his age. Boto's moniker is boy genius. Because he's much smarter than his dad, and at the current age, the same as his dad, he's much more accelerated in his training, more well balanced in, in his taijutsu and everything. And why is he so balanced in taijutsu? Because he has Shuga blood in him. So it wouldn't, I wouldn't pass, I wouldn't put it past anybody that he will activate the the uh, the uh, Byakugan and awaken the uh, the Tenzin Raigon as well, which is what Toneri had, which is the most is the much more advanced. Uh, form of the Byakugan. It's like it's like a blue flower basically that forms in their eye, but their eyes become blue completely. As far as I think as I remember. So damn it, it's still no use. So he's he's trying it, he's like, okay, no use, no use, try it again, try it again, try it again. Pretty much like Naruto. Alright, well done. Now then, on to the next level. It's a rubber ball this time. And you can tell he's more talented than Naruto, because Naruto took him day and night, day and night, to pop that damn balloon properly. You know, and um, then Jiraiya, remember, did the same thing. He gave him this rubber ball, and now he's like, now you gotta do this with the rubber ball. And it became much harder with the rubber ball, of course. But if you were to suggest what's the difference between Boruto's and Naruto's Rasengan, I guess that Naruto's is much bigger. 
and Boruto is much smaller, it's more of a miniature version. And when he throws it, excuse me, when he throws it, it kind of disappears into the air, but it's still there. And it will hit you. And look at that, it's raining outside. Um, you've got to be kidding me, this, this, huh, I've done it, what now? So Konohamaru's stunned, he's like, you gotta be kidding me, he just mastered this just like that? You see Sasuke standing in front of the Uchiha shrine, of course. I guess that's how he did that's, I guess that's how he got the second Sharonagon. The Uchiha Shrine probably told him how to get it, and he did it. Hey, what's the problem? I have learned how to do it, just like you asked. It's rather small, isn't it? You can hardly call that your Rasengan. So Sasuke, by comparison, can know, it's like, okay, that's pretty small for Rasengan. But you gotta remember the the mannerism in which Sasuke tells you that you accept it as a student or, or he accepts you is very roundabout, very sunk circumvent he circumvents basically to actually uh you know uh or manipulative way to actually tell you, yeah, 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 whatever, you know, like I accept you. But he does it in such a serious way that it's very hard to tell. So there comes Sarada, his daughter right next to him. You're strict as ever, Daddy. I doubt you know much about Boruto, so I'll fill you in. This hard-working personality is completely out of character for him, you know? The fact that he's come this far is a miracle in and itself. Do you understand? Hey, you're jumping to conclusions. What? So, <laughs> so Sarada tries to, you know, lecture. You know, it's like, you know, Dad, you're making a big deal out of this. And Sasuke's like, okay, seriously, stop it. You're making a big, you're making a big deal out of this. And you're stepping out of line. So Sasuke explains what actually is going on here. I never said it was bad. I was actually thinking I would take him as my disciple. Which means he did say, yeah, you're my disciple. And you could see him kind of uh, tilting in a slightly to smile towards his daughter. You can see him as a slight change. Like, it's the same face. He just has to tilt his head to make like a smile. Remind you, his brother Itachi used to do that too. He had that, that plain, you know, kind of look in his mouth and he used to go like... And then from an angle, it like a smile. So basically, tilting the camera from an angle to look like a smile. The heck, dang it all. Oh, young master, is there a, pro is there a problem? So let's continue on to page 28. Well, that's just terrible. If that's the case, then I'm quite sure that our research here will prove useful to your pre predicament. Both coolly and smartly, producing exceedingly potent results while expanding very little effort. Such should be the form of the ninjas of the next generation. So he's basically making technology to make it easier for the ninjas to learn techniques such as Rasengan that has such a high difficulty degree. Hey, it's an S rank level technique. You know, it's even up to a forbidden techniques as well. You know, the Rasen Shuriken is actually a forbidden technique dubbed by Tsunade because it actually caused some cellular damage to Naruto's arms. But at the end of the day, she was able to do something for him to heal from it. Don't you think so too? Shall we, shall we pick the perfect special move for you? That's interesting. So Boruto buys one of those gauntlets, or he gets one for free, obviously, and he he gives it to Boruto. And Boruto uses it to his advantage, huh? Since when did I get this dirty? And mind you, he's very clean, so he's very worried as to when he gets dirty and everything. So he's looking around the village, and then he becomes serious again uh, as he pays attention to something. Rasengan, so there you go, he's trying it again. And Sasuke's just looking at it, but there's one thing that Sasuke notices that's off here. And then you notice he squints his eyes, he's like... And he realizes that he's wearing one of those contraptions under his arms to actually cheat. Because the thing is, he thinks he can cheat Sasuke out. Mind you, he has a shot in now, so he can see your chakra. Just like a uh, Hugo clan, he can see your chakra network, and he can see how much chakra you're expelling. And from where is it coming from? He can see that too, but he just can't see your chakra points. That he cannot see. He can only see, 
the amount of energy in your body, your chakras, and from where exactly is it coming from. And he's able to see that he has that contraption under his arm. Rasengan, how is that for Rasengan? Hmm. You've managed to improve that much in just a day. My talent is on a completely different level than that of old dad of mine. So he calls him old dad of mine. Indeed, you are certainly different from Naruto. I didn't want to, to think so though. Huh? Anyway, back to our talk from before. Are you going to make me your disciple now? So Sasuke pauses. He's like, hmm, let me answer that question. And he's super serious too. He's like, fine. I shall make you my disciple. So basically Sasuke says, fine, I'll make you my disciple. Pretty much in a face much so like this. Hey, I want to hear some story about my dad. He was a noisy idiot. All he talked about was him becoming Okage. He was quite the halfway. Half what's it? I don't really get it, but what I really want to know about are my dad's weaknesses. So he pretty much surmised it. Want to become Hokage, high resolve, very high success rate, had a great drive, and still does. He never stopped, and he kept on going, and never looked back. That's pretty much the in Naruto's life. Weaknesses, yep. Do you know any? You're joking, right? My fingers alone wouldn't suffice to list down all his weaknesses. He's full of weaknesses after all. He was your stereotypical don, dons, dons. And yet the con he conquered the power lying dormant within him and became the Hokage. He's talking about the nine tails and then became the Hokage. If you ask me, what you really ought to know is not who Naruto is now, but who he was up until now, don't you think? Much more detailed, the question. Love it. The heck's that supposed to mean? Basically, what, who your dad was from the time he grew, from what he is now, and what made him this way. So it's finally the big day. Get out there and do your best. You're quite upbeat this morning, huh, mommy? Are you that happy that daddy finally returned home after such a long time? Hey, what, that's got nothing to do with. Don't think I don't know that side of yours. Bye, I'm off. So basically she told her mother, like, oh, I know why you're happy because dad is back. And she's thinking in her head like, hmm. And she's like, okay, if it has nothing to do with that. You know, and then Sakura becomes all flustered because it most definitely has to do with them. Say what you want, but you seem rather chirpy today yourself, Sarga. Looks like you won that bet with Daddy Boruto. Yeah, you know nothing to it. So he says, you know, just like Naruto, he says, you know nothing to it. So basically, he tells us there was nothing to it, really. So, what are you gonna do now that you're his disciple? <laughs> I'll make him tell me all my dad's weaknesses. I know this is unsolicited for, for her, but before you can even think of challenging a seven, you have to pass this tuning exam first, do you understand? Precisely why I'm asking him, I had old man Sasuke teach me lots of things, so I can show them off during the tuning exams. I'll defeat my dad one day with my own power. You mean you, our power? Jeez, I'll never understand what's going on in that head of yours. What? You ask? So basically, he's going to pull out his report card now at this point of the tuning exams. And he aced it. And of course, acting the tuning exams, of course, and no less. I know this is unsolicited, unsolicited for, but every once in a while, you actually can be something other than any, anyone, I guess. So even Sarada aced it. But how about, Mits how about Mitsuki? Did he ace the exam? Let's see if he did. And there's Mizuki at the top of page 42. Please don't forget about me. Mitsuki. And Mitsuki has aced the exam. And I love to meet the story of Mitsuki, by the way. It was a great development. I'm just hoping to have DLCs for these characters because, you know, like, such as Sarada and Boruto are already there. I mean, Mitsuki and the others are not there yet. So, 
basically, I'm guessing your team seven. Um, Sarada, Boruto, and Mitsuki. Because at this point, it looks very well. They all aced it, and that was the plan. Never had it occurred to me that the form of the chakra we seek will change into that of such a monster. Furthermore, its multiple bodies are dispersed in various places. This is but one part of it. My, my, I suppose you've got no choice but no retrieve. All of them, one by one. So basically, he said they all scattered into different locations. And you gotta retrieve them all to pretty much um, um, get... I don't know the chance to remember at Kaguya, it seems like they are. That's a bit insane. Allow me to return this to you with several times the power. So this is pretty interesting. In action sequence, the eight tails is pretty much taken down by uh, uh, Momoshiki here. And a huge blast happens. And we all know that Killer B is the one that domes. It's such a Juriki of the A tail. It's not just roaming around free like most of them are. So you look at this Killer B. It seems that the chakra turned monster had possessed a human body. That's all there is. I have detected chakra signal that that larger than this one in a place not so far from here. So this is interesting, they're collecting the tail beasts once more. The question is for what though? And you're talking about Naruto by the way. I believe it is, oh, it is most likely the greatest chakra which we seek, the Nine Tails. So that marks the end for this Boruto review reaction. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being me today. Overall, for the manga chapter review, this is it. Of course, I'll bring Tokyo Ghoul tomorrow along with Bleach, because I have a lot of other stuff to do today. But thank you very much for joining me today. If you need to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and also follow me up on Twitter. Thank you very much and have a great afternoon.